Have you guys ever wondered, hmm, how can I jailbreak my iPhone 5s, iPhone 6, iPhone 6s, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10 with ease? Well, if you have thought about this question at least once in your life, then this is the right video for you. So what we're going to do today is that I will show you how to jailbreak every iPhone from the iPhone 5s to iPhone 10, regardless of the software that you're using. So that means it doesn't matter on which software you are, whether that is iOS 11, iOS 12, iOS 10, iOS 13, it doesn't matter if it's the newest or the oldest software that is supported, you can jailbreak your phone with this tutorial regardless of the software. So you probably will ask yourself, what? It is that easy? Yes, and I'll show you how easy it really is. So before we get going, we need to talk about the requirements. Yes, it's a really easy and straightforward process, but there's still some very limited requirements. The first one is quite obvious. If you want to jailbreak your phone, you need your iPhone. So in my case, that is an iPhone 10 again, it doesn't matter if it's an iPhone 5s, iPhone 6, 6s, 7, 8, 8 plus and 10. All of these that I just listed work regardless of the software that they're using. The other thing that you need, which you also have if you're watching this video, I mean, why wouldn't you? This is a charging cable, standard charging cable for your iPhone. But the other thing that you also need right now as of the making of this video, this might change, but for now you need a Mac. It doesn't matter which Mac, it can be a MacBook Pro, MacBook, MacBook Air, all of them, an iMac, an iMac Pro, whatever you have. The only thing, it should have a newer OS. It doesn't have to be the newest OS, but it should have newer OS running on there. So right now you need a Mac. The team that is making this jailbreak actually possible is promising a version for Windows right now. And if this version happens, I will update it below in the description of this video. So if you don't see a Windows link for this video, and I'm sorry, there's still only a Mac version available. But if you have all the requirements that I've just told you, well, then we can finally get going with the easy jailbreak process. So before we go ahead and jailbreak our iPhone, actually a disclaimer. Before you do anything, back up the data on your phone, whether that is via an automatic iCloud update, just make sure your data is back up. Normally, nothing happens. Normally, everything works as it should be like 99.9% .9 of the time. But just make sure to back up your data just in case so that you can't lose any data. So let's get started. So what you need to do first is download the jailbreak tool. So what you're gonna do is you go to Safari or whatever internet browser you're using on your Mac and you're gonna go to the following site and that is checkra.in. That's the name of the jailbreak, check rain which is a really big exploit that they found in all the iPhones that I've listed to you before. And right now this version is in beta. So what that means is, as I told you, it just works right now on Mac OS. So you click on that and you have to download for your Mac OS software and you just click on it and then it downloads. And once you have downloaded it, you just install it to your Mac. I already did this. Then you go, once you installed it, you go to your programs and there it is. It should be here, check rain, and you open it up. This happens. So don't get frustrated or confused when this happens. This is why I'm showing you this. Once you installed this app for the first time, Apple recognizes that it isn't an app that is normally supported. So they know, okay, this is not from a certified developer because obviously we all know Apple doesn't really like you jailbreaking. So what you do, it says, oh, the app is not of, of a verifi verified developer. What we'll do is we're not going to put it into our paper waste. We're going to actually say stop. And what we're going to do is we go to our settings uh, and we're going to go to privacy or security. Sorry, that's how it's called in English. We're going to go to security. And then we're going to go to this here. And there you can see it says that it has blocked the opening of check rain and what you just do is you click on yes open it regardless and then just click on open again then sometimes that apple apple really doesn't want you to use the app so what it does is it just closes the app again it makes you think oh it didn't work but actually you just have to click on it again and then it just works so if you encounter this this most of the time or always happens when you app, open the app for the first time just do as i told you and you will have no problems. This happens only at the very first time and then never again. 
So now that we're in the app, it says connect your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad or Apple TV. You can actually even jailbreak your Apple TV. I'm not quite sure which, but we're talking about iPhones here. So we're gonna connect our iPhone via the cable to our Mac. If you still have USB, <laughs> I'm gonna prove to you that this works on any software, no matter what, because my phone is running the newest software, as of the making of this video, of course, which is iOS 13.4.1. So what we're gonna do now is we will simply go and click on Start. Then it says the device needs to be put into DFU mode to apply the jailbreak. This is a manual process and we will guide you through it. So, to all of you who don't know what this, what this is, DFU mode essentially is a mode in which the phone can be is serviceable, where normally when the phone has a problem, you put it into DFU mode and then like iTunes can like work on it or like, I don't know, the genius bar can work on it. It's kind of like a safe mode, sort of, don't quote me on that, but kind of like that. And you do this manually, so you need your phone in your hand to do this. And the great thing is this program actually guides you through it. And I'll also show you it, how it works on camera, of course. So we're gonna click on next. <clears throat> and now it says we're entering recovery mode. Don't get worried when you see this. Now, normally, always like this window if you're on Catalina or if you're not on Catalina iTunes will pop up so if you're on the newest version on Catalina this window will pop up and it will say oh your phone is in recovery mode and you'll also see this on your phone completely fine that's exactly what should be don't panic if you see this window just click on no and just close it again and then you'll see the instructions on how to go into DFU mode so this varies from phone to phone. Now I can only show you of course on the iPhone 10 because I have this phone, but don't, again, don't worry about it because as you can see, it's very well done here. You can see exactly what you have to do, how long you have to press this and that because entering the DFU mode is different on many devices. Like on my iPhone, it's clicking start and the volume down button actually for a certain amount of seconds and others it's like the volume up button and like I don't know the home button I'm guessing here but it's different just do what the program tells you essentially so we're gonna do this now so I'm just gonna read through it you need the side button and the volume down button press and hold the side and volume down button for together okay and do this for four seconds and then release the side button but keep holding the volume down button so always read through first and then do exactly as it tells you okay so we're gonna click on start now we're gonna press and hold, gonna count down, release the side button, now we're gonna wait exactly how long the program tells you to wait. There you go. And if you've done everything right, it says entering DFU, DFU mode worked and then the program just gets working. Don't do anything, just let it work its way. I'm just gonna show you what happens on the iPhone. This is what happens while it's doing its stuff. As you can see, it's checkmating the phone. This is how it should be. Don't worry about it. This is exactly how it should look like. Just let the phone do its stuff. Do not disconnect it now. Don't do this. Be careful about this. Let it stay connected. Just let it do its thing. It all works like magic. <laughs> As Steve Jobs would say, oh my God, Steve Jobs would kill me for quoting him in the jailbreak video. And that's it. That's all you have to do. It reboots, done. It just, it's amazing. It works so simply. Now you click on done. You open up your iPhone, you enter your code, your, all your standard codes of your SIM card and you know the standard routine. So once you've put in your, all your codes for your phone and your SIM card, you should be back on your phone as it used to be and it looks like nothing happened, right? But if you scroll to the very bottom of your apps, you should see an app that's called CheckRain and suddenly it's installed. So what you're gonna do now is you click on the app and then it says install and you see Cydia. Well, what is Cydia? Cydia is essentially the app store for all like the tweaks that you wanna put on your iPhone. And what are tweaks? Tweaks are just like the programs that you use to modify your phone in the ways that you like. So we need this app store, of course. So we're gonna click on install Cydia and we install it. Like just let it do its stuff. Don't like do anything wrong. Just let it do its stuff. It's saying downloading database. Of course, you need, by the way, internet. I mean, that's I think that's kind of obvious when you want to download something. You need internet. Just let it do its stuff. It's saying installing Cydia. We'll just wait, and there it is. 
you have Cydia now. That's it. That's how it works. You click on Cydia, it opens up like a, like a regular app store, and there you go. And now you have a jailbroken phone with Cydia installed, and you can go around and actually install the tweaks and modify your phone, your iPhone, to your liking without Apple like locking you away from it. It's really that easy. And by the way, as you can see in the beginning, Cydia is like telling you, oh, there are really important things that you need to like update. Don't click no. Just actually, my advice would be just click on complete actualization just to get it onto the newest, like newest up-to-date version because it's very important that you have everything very well updated to the OS that you're using. So when, as you can see, it always looks really like hack, hacker. It has some hacker wipes when you use your phone. And always it says like restart springboard. Don't worry, it just restarts the phone back into like the lock screen mode. And once it does that, you can just like unlock the phone again and there you go, that's it. Okay, so now you have Cydia and you can just go to Cydia and from there on out, download all the apps that you want. So guys, that's it, really. That is how easy it is to jailbreak any iPhone from iPhone 5S to iPhone 10, regardless of the software that you're using. It is that simple. Essentially, you almost cannot fuck this up, honestly. Just do as you're told on the app for macOS, and then do as you're told on the app on your iPhone, and you're good to go. And from there on out, have fun installing all the tweaks that you want. Just keep in mind that it is a tweak that actually runs on the version that you're using software-wise. So if you use iOS 13, make sure you're downloading tweaks that work on iOS 13. Because with jailbreaking, yes, all the restrictions that Apple puts are gone. But that also means you can fuck stuff up. So if you like download something that isn't supported, it could mess with your iPhone. Don't worry, you just worst case you have to like reinstall the OS. So guys, that was the video. I hope I could help you. If you have any questions regarding the jailbreak process or installing tweaks, write a comment below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun installing tweaks and improving your iOS experience. Till later guys.